What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. Previously, we nuked Mananga, and it wasn't too bad. If you can get the glowing ones to spawn, that is. Still wouldn't say this spot is better than White Springs, but it's definitely beneficial, and there is quite a bit that spawns here. And by the way, I saw there was some confusion in the previous episode on how to get glowing ones to spawn here. Keep in mind, glowing ones won't be at this location after you nuke it with, say, like, mole miners or liberators here. You're gonna have to nuke it with feral ghouls being at Mananga. You're just gonna have to make sure you keep hopping servers until you see some feral ghouls at this location. The only downfall of nuking this place is that it's a random encounter between Scorched and Glowing Ones being here, even if there is feral ghouls here before you nuke it sadly. Sure, Scorched can be just as valuable to take out, I just prefer Glowing Ones because I feel like there's more legendary versions of those, which means better loot from them. In this episode though, it's going to be a little different from my previous experiments. We're going to be finding out what happens if we nuke Graham and his trusty sidekick Mumu. We got a stash nearby, remember Mumu? Wait, no you just left a pile nearby, not a good stuff pile. Never mind. Now, it hurts me to do this, it really does, because this is my favorite NPC in the game. I love this guy's goofy personality, but I wanted to do this just because one, not every Fallout 76 player knows about Graham, so I'm going to be trying to bring him more on the map so more people are aware that he is in the game because he has some really valuable items. Which brings me to the next reason on why I'm nuking him. I want to see if I'm able to loot the stuff that he trades off of his body. I mean, I don't know if this is exactly going to work. I mean, after all, he is supposedly invincible. His health just keeps quickly recovering. I mean, as you can see here on the wiki, Graham does take damage from enemies, but will quickly recover from an attack and will not respond to attacks from player characters. He will, however, fight enemies that are present along his route, and this can be used to the player's benefit by leading enemies toward Graham to fight. Which brings me to the last reason. Even if this doesn't take him out, this area that I located him at, White Springs, is loaded with glowing ones when you nuke it. I think that would be just something awesome to see. He does survive this nuke, him helping me take out all the glowing ones that spawn around here. White Springs, as you know, at the moment, is the best location for glowing ones to spawn at. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of bored of this area though, and I want to find something just as beneficial. So anyways, the plan on how we are going to be able to nuke Graham with his trusty sidekick Mumu is by simply staying in a trade screen with him. That will make him stand completely still. After all, he is a traveling merchant, so he is always on the go if you aren't trading with him. So the only way to get him to pause is by doing this. So one of my teammates is going to be staying in a trade screen with him while I go through the tedious part of being able to launch the nuke. Once I am able to officially launch the nuke, I'm going to be launching it right around my teammate's vicinity. So now since you know the reasonings and the plan, let's see what happens. Most of these, after all, are just a shot in the dark. seems by nuking Graham, it looks like he'll disappear a little before the nuke hits the ground, as you can see with this footage my teammate recorded from in the trade screen. Now, it turns out, however, he did disappear, but he actually just disintegrated into a glowing ash pile, as you can see. This is the exact same location my teammate was trading with Graham at, right by this tree. I mean, this is insane. So we managed to kill Graham, who is supposed to be invincible. But as you can see from this experiment, though, once you do somehow miraculously take him out, you're not going to be able to loot what he has. Just says search. Nothing else. 
Like I waited a while here. I even came back to check on this pile after like an hour or something while farming at the White Springs and this still didn't disappear. I don't know when exactly it did disappear because I didn't keep track of it, but yeah, it was here for a very long time and I wasn't able to search it whatsoever. Which, that reminds me, notice that it says search instead of take or transfer like it typically says when you go to loot things. I don't know. This was odd. I will say that, I mean, this may sound a little evil and whatnot because Graham and Moo Moo are freaking awesome, but it would have been nice if we could have got some things that he typically trades, especially signs and letters plan, because that is over 9,000 caps! 9,000! 9, so, yeah, just something you may want to save up for if you want, because there's not many players that have this, just because it's so expensive. And not to mention random. Graham won't always be selling this. Which, by the way, you can get the pricing lower. You're just gonna have to have certain perk cards on to be able to lower, such as Hard Bargain in the Charisma Selection. Nonetheless, it's still going to be expensive. It would have been nice if I was allowed to search him and get a random plan or two that he typically trades. I mean, that would have been sweet because it is pretty tedious to nuke him, let alone find him. Which, by the way, speaking of finding him, there is a map that's drawn up of Graham's routes that he typically takes, and it is very well done. Except, once again, it's gonna be very tedious trying to find him, but here are the routes that you can take, as you can see. The green is where he can be at. So, pretty much anywhere. Once again, he'll be walking along the green lines on this map. He is not that simple to find. And in case you're wondering where I got this map at, I'll leave a link down below in the description to the Reddit post that provided this. I will say, it is pretty handy and it's like the best thing we got to use to find them so far. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this interesting and it was enjoyable. If it was, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, if you want, maybe stick around and subscribe for more future Fallout 76 content. As always, that's totally up to you, though. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace. Best walking food. Dried meat. Dried meat. Roast meat. Charred meat. Skewered meat, squishy meat, crispy meat, fishy meat, stinky meat, rotten meat, icky meat, brown meat, mm, seasoned meat, salty meat, slimy meat, sticky meat, sugary meat, meaty meat, chewy meat, gamey meat, fatty meat, frozen meat, Burnt meat, spicy meat, chopped meat, stringy meat, red meat, wormy meat, mashed meat, peppered meat. Did I miss any, Moo Moo? Huh? Greens, oh, yeah. And green stuff for Moo Moo.